Hello everyone, today I want to take this mining rig and turn it into a proof of use of world ready machine. Last week we did it with this guy, an HPC A40, we put two GPUs, a 3070 and a 3070 Ti, it turned out great, I keep farming Chia there. Uh, uh, but today I want to do it with this guy. I want to go over the upgrades I need, how much it's going to cost me and then we'll do the actual installation. Uh, I think in terms of benchmarking we don't know yet. Uh, but I think it's gonna get much better than that guy. Uh, for once, it has six GPUs. I may need to upgrade the CPU here. I don't know if I can get it there, but I'm gonna have to upgrade the CPU there, probably. We'll go over all the details, the technical details. I'm gonna have to install the Replace Hive OS, because this is a mining rig, and I'm gonna have to install the, uh, what, Ubuntu probably there, and go over the proof of use of work ready um, configuration. All right, lot to cover today. Uh, let's get into it. All right, and this is the motherboard that I have in that uh, mining rig. Is the Asus ROG Strix P550-F. I got it in the new X shuffle a year and a half ago. Um, when it was really hard to get GPUs. I got it for free, it was included. So I got lucky and I put it in good use. Now, in terms of um, proof of useful work requirements, I think this motherboard uh, provide, provides me everything that I need. Let's go and check the proof of useful work requirements per the AMA uh, that the, the team did a couple of weeks ago. And we, I have a video, if you haven't watched it, go ahead and do so and you can see I, I went to details of the proof of useful work requirements preview that they did all right for in terms of motherboard we need one that supports generation 3 pcie with minimum of eight electrical lanes that motherboard we're good uh, we need a motherboard that supports virtualization and in order to check that you gotta check with the manufacturer i think i have i have already checked that here went to asus here uh, how to set up uh, VT virtualization technology in the BIOS. So I'm gonna have to check uh, once I install uh, Ubuntu. Well, before, once I install Ubuntu, we're gonna go and check the BIOS. Um, and here it says power on the system. Uh, we gotta go to advanced mode. Then from now, CPU configuration, Intel virtualization enabled. So I'm gonna have to ensure that that's enabled. And you're gonna have to ensure that uh, virtualization is is supporting your in your bio in your motherboard and it's turned on so that's one all right let's go back uh, we need four threads for each gpu so in this mining rig i have a total of six uh gpus let's go and check the gpus that i have these are the ones i have a uh, six exactly the same they are rx 6600 xt the xfx FX Speedster. All right, uh, they come with eight gigabytes each. All right, so I'm gonna need a total of uh, four threads per GPU. So that's a total of 24 threads, right? Because I have six, six times four, 24. But if you check on the uh, current uh, CPU that I own or that I have for that mining rig, is this guy the AMD Ryzen 5 5600G, which which has six cores and a total of uh, 12 threads. So I'm short of 12 threads. I need pretty much I need 24 threads, so I need an additional uh, 12 threads. So in order to I'm gonna have to upgrade the CPU for sure, and we'll take a look into a minute how to do that. All right. So in terms of of, of CPU, I'm gonna have to upgrade just to cover that number three. Uh, let's go to number four in terms of RAM. Each GPU VRAM plus 25%. So we just check that this these are a gig uh, a GPU. So if we do let's do eight times six, that's a total of, of 48 gigs of RAM times 1.25. That's the total of minimum RAM that I'm gonna need to be proof of useful work. 60 gigs. So I'm gonna need at least 64 to, to be covered. That's what I'm gonna be uh, looking at. All right, let's keep going. Number five, any GPU will do. VRAM is important, but speed is important too. So it's not only uh, how much RAM, VRAM you have, but also how, how fast that GPU is. 
So what I did, I went to uh, the gpu.userbenchmark.com. Surprisingly, when you click on the value, if you sort by value, see here, uh, there it is. The AMD 6600 XT came in second place. I'm, I mean, uh, so apparently what it, it, what it means is um, for the amount of uh, dollars you pay in, you get you know pretty good uh, performance, right? So a percentage measure of component performance per price for typical real world use. So this is what I got. You know, I feel pretty good that you know it's, it's not the I know it's not the best GPU out there. It has eight gigs of RAM, but in terms of, of price versus performance, you know, we're, we're, we're I feel comfortable. You know, uh, or if you're gonna purchase one, that is it comes in uh, second place. Uh, now in terms of um, let's go back here. Here the chart says that number one is the GTX 1660. Uh, you can beat that. I uh, think per performance, 100. Here's it's 110 dollars. You get that's the number one. All right, enough for that. Let's go back to the to the rank to the uh, requirements. For storage, we need a combination is better. So between M fast NVMe uh, SSD drives and uh, hard drives. So. For this, I do have some a couple of NVMe uh, SSD drives. That's no problem. Uh, in this motherboard, you can see you have I have these two M2 sockets. So there's one there and another one here. So I'm gonna be able to fit those two um, SSD drives there, the NVMe SSD drives there. Um, well, that's not a problem. Then this this motherboard will do. Will do. I was you need to figure out how to put some NVMe SSD for fast. Now for storage, that's a problem because I don't have any any hard drives attached. I only have an SSD for the OS. Uh, so for storage, what I'm thinking is um, I'm gonna get one of these guys, which is a, a Sans Digital HD Rack 5, so for five hard drives, uh, SATA. So and let's check on the motherboard. You all, you also need to check for the connectivity. So let's go to connectivity here. Let's find out how many SATA, SATA uh, connectors I have. I have six here. So we're gonna be plugging those uh, at least five uh, for uh, hard drives there. That's, that's the idea. So we're covering the, in terms of hard drives. Okay, so what is it that I need to buy? I need to buy a CPU that supports 24 uh, threads. So right now, uh, we know the requirement is four threads, and, and my my uh, CPU only covers 12 threads, uh, three per C, uh, per GPU. That means I need 24. So this is not enough. So um, what I did, I went to the motherboard here. Let's take a look at this here support, um, and then CPU, and let's see what uh, CPU will be a best the best fit for this. Uh, these are Ryzen 3 series, let's see, Pro, we come with six cores, six cores, six cores here, the fives, six cores, uh, Ryzen 7, eight cores, Ryzen 9, 12 cores, uh, let's see, Ryzen 9, 50, this is, this is a 16 core, so, uh, 12 core will do, but it's just gonna be, I think, supporting the GPU. So I need more cores. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this uh, Ryzen 59, uh, 9 5950X, which I can support 16 cores, so a total of 32 threads. So let's check that one out. All right, so here is the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X with 16, 16 cores, 32 threads. So this will be more than enough. Uh, 24 threads are gonna be dedicated to GPUs and the rest to do other things, other, other functions. So, um, but it you know it comes with a price. That's 431, but that will be the biggest upgrade to this uh, mining rig uh, if I want to do six GPUs and have enough or leftover power, right? Um, all right, so let's let's take a look at the let's do that. That will be CPU. Ryzen 9, that's 435. All right, that'll be the first cost. All right, for number of threads, I think we're good. We got 32 threads, 
24 RB are gonna be dedicated to GPU and the rest for other functions, so we're good there. Uh, let's move on to the next one, RAM. We need for each GPU, we need 25% more. So we, in this case, I got six GPUs of eight gigabytes each. That will be 48 plus 25% total. That will be 60 gigabytes minimum. So I'll be good if I have 64. Let's find out. I find out that one, 64. Uh, the Corsair Vengeance LPX 64 gigabytes, two DIMMs of 32 each, so two DIMMs, uh, DDR4, 3200 the speed, so 129.99. Let's put that there, RAM, 64 gigabytes, 129.99. All right, let's keep moving. Now, for GPUs, I go, I'm good. I have six, 6600 XT. If you need to buy GPUs, I'll say prioritize VRAM first. Um, one option that I did look at is the, I think I mentioned another video, is the GeForce RTX 3060. This comes with 12 gigabytes, so it's a lot of RAM for 279. That's on a new egg uh, currently. So this, this is a good option, I think, between you know performance, and price, uh, and, and, and the amount of VRAM that you get, 12 gigabytes. All right. Let's keep going for storage. So storage is a combination. Combination is better. So you gotta have fast uh, storage plus low storage. So NVMe, I'm gonna be using my NVMe drives that I have extra. Let's see what they run these days. Uh, you, get, you can get this two terabytes PCIe for NVMe SSD, 9199. All right, or well, you get the Samsung. This is a two terabyte, 122. This, and then, uh, oh, look at this. Uh, Samsung 930 EVO Plus, EVO Plus SSD, two terabytes, NVMe, M2, 99.84. So this, this is a good deal, I can get it overnight. All right, so that's for SSD. I already got that, I don't have to worry. What I'm gonna worry is hard drives. I already used them, my hard drives for Chia, so I need to get more. Now, how I'm gonna connect them? I'm gonna get one of these, um, racks which is the sans digital hd rack 5 5a sata cable i'm gonna connect that it has it comes with a fan all right so i can put five and, and just plug it right next to the rig that's what i'm gonna try and then i need to get the hard drive so um that's something to consider like a rack like this i think it's gonna be pretty easy simple all right and i found this max digital data 14 terabyte hard drives at 128.88 Let's see, 128.88 divided, I'm sorry, 128.88 divided by 14. That's less than 10 cents per terabyte. I think this is pretty good. If you find another another uh, price, let me know. Uh, I make, I'm, I'm gonna consider this 128.88 each. Let's do that. Uh, so, uh, HDD, we need, uh, 128 times 5. I'm sorry, that's a lot of money. 128.88. All right, good there, 600. All right, this is the total cost. Let's add this up. All right, 1,209, so 1,209 with 39 cents. That will be plus tax. That will be the total investment to turn this mining rig into a powerful proof of use of work uh, worker. And I know this is a lot of money, so the question is, should I invest in this uh, new proof of use of work or not? Um, and how much money I'm gonna get in return, right? And how much, what, what is the ROI look like? Um, so at this point, we don't know. Uh, all we know is this, um, that a benchmarking is coming from the MAA, uh, AMA. Um, you can see here, they have a nice dashboard. We're gonna be able to see uh, how good we do with each system. I, I may have an idea of you know how much return we're gonna get, but I don't have that yet. So at this point, it's all experimental. Um, I think I can I can take the risk and invest and see uh, what I, what kind of returns we're gonna get after the benchmarking. Uh, worst case, what I'm thinking is okay. The H, the hard drives for sure are gonna use it in uh, Chia, right? Because Chia keeps being profitable. You know, I make, I'm making money with Chia, so that I'm gonna be using the hard drive for that. Uh, the CPU Ryzen, let's take a look at the 
Hash rate that I know. Let's look at CPUs. All right, uh, AMD Ryzen 9 5950X. What is it? 47, uh, 47 cents per day in revenue and 10 cents profit after power. So not much, really not much uh, for CPU mining. Um, so um, for GPUs even worse for the 6600 XT. Uh, where is it? 6600 XT. Where are you? Here is six six cents per day a lithium uh, with fifteen dollars per day, fifteen cents per day uh, revenue. All right, so six cents net, not much. All right, and we went through all the requirements. I know exactly what I need to purchase. I know exactly how much it's gonna cost me. I don't have a clue of what kind of return I'm gonna get or how much ROI is looking like here. Uh, but as soon as I get an estimation of the rewards we can get or type of rewards we can get with proof of use work, I'll let you guys know. Now I need to learn how to install, uh, download and install in Ubuntu, that's next. And then I'm going to order the components and then we'll do another video and install everything. I'll show you exactly step by step on how I did it. Uh, and, but if you enjoy this video, this content, let me know. Let me know if you have another plans or if you are planning to switch to proof of use war as well. What kind of upgrades are you planning to do? Uh, all right. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.